Cognitive dissonance is taking place in the mind of tabloid readers after reading Spare Prince Harry's memoir. The royal family is an orchestrated reality show. The executive producers are tabloid owners Ruthamir and Murdoch and Royal Rota are fictional writers. Reading tabloids is bad for your mental health and it lowers your IQ. Young, broken, desperate tabloid experts on the internet call Meghan a gold digger as if Harry owned anything of value. The reality of Prince Harry's lifestyle was far away from royalty. The fact is, Prince Harry was a pauper prince shopping at discount stores, searching for sales before Meghan. He was embarrassed when Meghan first came to Not Caught. In Spare, he writes about his Ikea lamps, goes on to say Meghan bought a sofa for his cottage on sale, on sofa.com using her own credit card. Most things that Prince Harry has, he owes to his wife, Meghan Markle. Writing in his memoir, Prince Harry wrote, Above all my deepest and adorangest thanks to my incredible wife, for too many millions of gifts and sacrifices, great and small, love of my life, thank you, thank you. Most things would be impossible without you. Palace servants lived better than Harry. The Sussexes had no such luxuries. They had to paint not cot their rented home because they simply couldn't afford the help. Harry worried quite a lot about making his own way. Without Meghan, this would have been impossible in Harry's life. Harry despised the those cocktail slurping iral causing sloths everyone avoided. There had been plenty of those in his family. Harry wasn't looking for a woman who lunches, but one who works. Meghan Markle was a self-made millionaire, while Harry was a cash-poor prince. He had an inheritance from his mother, but was not accessible or easily converted to cash. Besides, he felt the inheritance belonged to his future children. What was there not to love Meghan Markle, who was self-made? Prince Harry was smart not to sign a prenup. Meghan was a self-made millionaire, and because of her, today he is signing multi-million dollar contracts. Without Meghan, most things would be impossible. The tabloids mocked Harry as the discount hair. Prince Harry received an official clothing allowance from his father, a king. However, for his everyday casual clothes, Prince Harry shopped at TK Maxx. In 2017 TK Maxx wrote in Cambridge News, .co.uk. The store has two annual clearance events, with some designer gear being reduced to as little as 20p. Is there anything more pathetic than royalists who opt to believe in fairy tales from tabloids than admit that Harry gained a lot from his union with Meghan? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, support our work with super thanks or super chat, or join our channel subscription. Subscribe, press the bell icon, and like, comment, and share the video.